In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all the apostles of prayer, and in particular for those recommended by our Holy Father for this month. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Uh, welcome po sa ating uh, meditations on the sacred heart of Jesus. At uh, bago ang lahat, uh, nais nice kong paalam sa inyo na ang ating mga meditations ay uploaded po sa ating YouTube channel, ang Sense of the Sacred. Kindly subscribe po and click the notification bell. And if you like this particular, uh, this particular meditation, uh, pakilike lang po and share para marami po ang uh, makinabang sa ating pagninilay sa araw na ito. So, uh, our, for our meditation, on, our, our meditation on the 22nd day was, uh, was written by Dom Lawrence Wartenberger. Uh, he was a former Lutheran, okay, got converted to the Catholic faith, uh, born in 1590, and he, and he was prior of the Carthusians of uh, Koblenz. Okay? So, uh, 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 the title of today's meditation is The Holy of Holies. Okay? Natatandaan ninyo, in the temple of the ancient temple of Jerusalem, there was uh, the central portion of the temple is uh, uh, separated from the rest of the temple by a veil. And inside uh, that, uh, that uh, room would be found the Ark of the Covenant, which, was which, which had on top the uh, place of appropriation, which means it is, it is the throne of God, okay? And uh, no one is allowed to enter it except the high priest on the Day of uh, Atonement. So the text uh, given to us is, uh, coming from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 15, verse 38. The veil of the temple was rent in two. Kung maalala nyo, uh, when our Lord Jesus died on the cross, there was a strong earthquake, and then the veil that covered the Holy of Holies was uh, torn into two. So, uh, uh, the meditation by Dom Lawrence begins with, Jesus will not be crucified privately in the court of the praetorium, but like a king bearing his weapons, he will be seen upon the battlefield. Okay? Uh, it's, it's a very Johannine, it's a very Johannine theme. No? Okay? Okay, St. John uh, Christ, in his passion, was actually portrayed as a king, okay? a king uh, that uh, who walks towards his at his coronation and enthronement. So, our Lord Jesus on the cross is like a king bearing his weapons, and he will be seen upon the battlefield. He will be placed on the cross outside the walls of Jerusalem in broad daylight, exposed to the gaze of a very large number of persons who have come from all parts of the land to celebrate the great feast of the Pasch or the Passover. Diba usually, executions now are conducted in private. For example, firing squad, 
o kaya death by lethal injection or death by uh, electric chair okay these are done these are usually done today in private with a very, very small group of people witnessing. No? Kakaunti lang, na lang ngayon ang mga taong uh, pinapayagan na makasaksi ng, uh, ng uh, pagpaparusa ng kamatayan. No? Even, even the hanging, for example, yung pagbibigti ng mga kriminal, eh, ang mga ito ginagawa na no longer in public but now in private. But Christ was not executed under the darkness. He was crucified in broad daylight. His execution did not take place within a, uh, a, a small uh, uh, enclosed space like a prison court. But rather, our Lord was crucified outside the gate at a very uh, at a at a very uh, at the very place where travelers from everywhere could immediately see him and there were many people at that time napakaraming tao nung oras na yon sa Jerusalem because they were about to celebrate the feast of the Passover so if you have any love for our Lord Recall the pains which he endured. Kneel in the shadows of the cross in contemplation, and the fruits of his bitter passion will appear to you inestimably sweet. So do I ask anything too hard when I tell you to think of him who, ha who has satisfied for you? Mahirap ba namang kahilingan yon na uh, uh, magnilay kayo sa patungkol sa kamatayan, pagdurus at kamatayan ng Panginoon? Okay. Uh, let not the Savior stretch out His hands before you in vain. Okay? Let not the Savior stretch out His hands before you in vain. Wag niyong, wag niyong pabayaang mabaliwala ang pag-uunat ni Heso Kristo ng kanyang mga bisig sa kahoy ng krus. Seek no more for unprofitable joys here below, but reserve yourself for the joys of heaven. Wag ninyong sayangin ang pagpapakasakit ng Panginoon sa pamagitan ng paghahabol para sa mga kaligayahang wala namang maidud, makamundong kaligayahan na wala namang maidudulot. Kundi hanapin natin ang mga kagalakan ng buhay na walang hanggan. So, O man, hear today the voice of the Lord and harden not your heart. God asks you for your heart. Hinihingi ng Diyos sa iyo ang iyong puso at nais niyang tanggapin ang iyong puso na mapagpakumbaba, masunurin, at, may, at punong-puno ng mabuting kalooban at kawalan ng pagtitiwala sa sarili at malaya mula sa anumang uh, makalupa o makamundong pag-ibig. So God wants you to offer Him your heart and He wants your heart to be humble, docile, full of goodwill, full of distrust of self, and set free from every sinful affection. O unfathomable abyss of the ungrateful human heart, the earthquakes, the rocks are rent, the rocks are crushed, graves are opened when Jesus expires on the cross while the heart of man remains insensible 
and hard as adamant. So tingnan niyo yung kawalang utang na loob natin. Nayanig ang lupa, nadurog ang mga bato, nabuksan ang mga libingan noong pumanaw ang Panginoon sa krus. Subalit yung puso nating mga tao na natiling manhid, matigas, matigas ang ulo. The veil of the temple behind the altar of incense, hiding the Holy of Holies, was torn from top to bottom. And, and the mysterious and sacred objects of the Jewish worship were exposed to view. No, noong namatay ang Panginoon, napunit ang belo o ang kurtina ng templo na nagtatago ng dakong kabanal-banalan. At dahil dito ay tuman, lumantad sa lahat yung mga, yung mga misteryoso at banal na gamit ng pagsamba ng mga Hudyo. And thus were the mysteries of the new law disclosed when the Holy of Holies opened His breast and drew from the heart a new tabernacle not made with hands, rending forever the veil that separated from His Father. So if uh, the Holy of Holies is that particular part in the temple, wherein behind a great veil hid the objects of Jewish worship. In like manner, the sacred heart of Jesus is the Holy of Holies of the New Testament. The sacred heart of Jesus, ang, ang mahal na puso ng Panginoon ay ang dakong kabanal-banalan ng bagong tipan. And just as the veil that hid the objects of worship was rent or torn into two, so also the sacred heart was opened by a soldier's lance. And in that, in that heart was exposed a new tabernacle, a new tabernacle not made with hands, rending forever the veil that separated us from the Father. So, O oh my soul, you are the dove, the beloved of God. Enter into this open heart of Jesus. Enter into the holes of the, of the mystical rock whence no one can drag you against your will. There will you feel the fire that constrained that heart to love you with such great love. Doon, sa loob ng uh, sugat ng Panginoon sa tagiliran, mararamdaman mo ang apoy na Uh, tumulak sa puso ni Jesus na ibigin ka ng may laking pag-ibig. Through the lacerated side of thy Redeemer, as through a grating, you will discern the treasures of divine wisdom and knowledge. Sa pamamagitan ng sinugatang tagiliran ng Panginoon, doon mo makikilala ang mga kayamanan ng karunungan ng Diyos, kaalaman ng Diyos. Kaya nga, keep near to your God. Lumapit ka at panatilin mong sarili mong malapit sa Diyos. Sapagkat ang, ang anino na bumabagsak mula sa kahoy ng krus, ay kahanga-hanga sa kanyang katamisan. Keep near to your God because the shadow that falls from the tree of the cross 
is of admirable sweetness. It affected the thief and sanctify him. Okay? Pinabanal nito yung magnanakaw na nagsisi. Yung magnanakaw na ipinako kasama ni Jesus. Kaya nga, panatilihin mong laging nasa harapan mo ang alaala ng kanyang pagpapakasakit. This is what is called in the Apocalypse, washing one's robes in the blood of the Lamb. Lagi nating aalalahanin ang pagpapakasakit ng Panginoon sapagkat sa pamamagitan nito ay hinuhugasan natin ang ating mga damit sa dugo ng kordero. There will thou be able to reach the tree of life, and through the door of the wounds of Jesus, you will enter into the eternal city. He is but a thief and a robber who goes not in through the opening made in the side and the heart of Christ. Ang tanging pintuan patungo sa buhay na walang hanggan sa langit ay walang iba kundi ang puso ng ating Panginoon. Kaya nga sana pa, ako ang pintuan. Ang sino mang pumapasok o lumalabas sa pamagitan ko ay makakasumpong ng kaligtasan. Let us enter into paradise through the opening made in the side and in the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. Manalangin tayo. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, my God and my all, I adore all the impulses of love which reduced thee to suffer, every discomfort and necessity of life. I acknowledge myself unworthy to live if I do not study to conform the impulses and desires of my heart to those which led you to embrace holy poverty in order that you might enrich the world with true riches. O sacred heart of Jesus, it is enough for me if I possess thee and thou possessest me forever. I adore thy sanctity, O holiness of all hearts. You are holiness itself. Glory be to the heart of Jesus, King of hearts, and may it reign forever and ever over all hearts. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa pakikibahagi ninyo sa ating meditations. Tatanda ninyo, ang puso ni Jesus ay ang dakong kabanal-banalan. At noong ito ay sinibat ng isang kawal, Ito'y, nagmis, ito'y nabuksan kung paanong ang, ang dakong kabanal-banala ng templo sa lumang tipan ay nabuksan noong nawahak sa dalawa ang tabing, ang kurtinang tumatabing dito. So maraming salamat at magandang umaga sa inyong lahat.